Here we're looking at a couple of vertebrae, and of course in between the bodies of the vertebrae we have the intervertebral disc. Now there are a couple of regions of the disc that you will have been told about, but uh, for our purposes here in the lab, if any part of the disc is pinned, you just write intervertebral disc and that's fine. So the intervertebral disc in between the bodies of the vertebrae, we can see another one here. And of course any fully articulated skeleton will have discs in between all the vertebrae. So we could pin them on those two. So there's intervertebral disc. And then along the um, vertebral column, there are a couple of ligaments that run either side of the um, discs and the bodies of the vertebrae. So here on the front, we have an anterior longitudinal ligament. Now it carries on up the anterior surface of the vertebral column. So it's not just here in the sacral and lumbar regions, but the, on this model we can see it. So that's anterior longitudinal ligament. Now on this model, there, the posterior longitudinal ligament is not shown, but it would be just here. So it would be on the posterior aspect of the bodies of the vertebrae and the intervertebral discs. The same as the uh, anterior longitudinal is on the front of them, posterior longitudinal will be on the back of them. So if we look at this model here, where we've got a, a mid-sagittal or median section uh, through the head and neck, we can see we've got bodies of vertebrae here. So these are bodies of cervical vertebrae in the neck, and here are the intervertebral discs in between. Here we can see this little white line on the anterior surface of the body and the intervertebral disc. That is the anterior longitudinal ligament. Hopefully you can just see that in there. There's the muscle here anterior to it, but that white line there is the anterior longitudinal ligament. Now then, on the posterior aspect, there's another line here. That's the posterior longitudinal ligament. Now posterior to that, there's a slightly brighter white line there. That's something different. That's the dura mater, which is a protective covering of the brain and spinal cord. So this one here, posterior longitudinal. This one here, anterior longitudinal ligament. Now then there are a couple of other ligaments associated with the vertebral column that are not on the bodies or, or the intervertebral discs. And we can see these back on the pelvis model. If we look at it from a posterior point of view, but from a slightly lateral view as well, here we can see the spinous processes. Here we've got L5 and the first spinous process there on the sacrum. Here we've got a ligament running in between those spinous processes. That's the interspinous ligament. And, uh, and they will be present further up in the vertebral column as well. But here's where we can clearly see one here, interspinous ligament. Now then running along the tips of the spinous processes, we have the supraspinous ligament. And again, that one travels all the way up to C7. Not found in the neck, but is found in other regions of the vertebral column. So this one running along the tips of the spinous processes is the supraspinous ligament. And then lastly, back to our sagittal section of the head and neck. Just zoom in a little bit again we can see that there's a whole lot of ligamentous material here posterior to the vertebrae. And it's attaching into the uh, occipital bone and also to the skin. And this structure here is the nuchal ligament. So the nuchal ligament, only found up here in the neck, we've got interspinous ligaments here in between the spinous processes but we don't in the neck actually have a supraspinous ligament. The nuchal ligament has kind of taken over that function, but it does extend back to the skin, which the supraspinous ligament doesn't really in the, in the other regions, although it's of course very close to the skin. Now, the nuchal ligament has a lot of muscles attaching to it either side, um, and so it's not really um, a ligament holding the, the bones together necessarily, like some ligaments do but it acts more as a muscle attachment site. 